Adopt Me's Desert Egg event looks actually insane. I'm going to show you everything that you need to do on how to play the new desert event coming into Adopt Me. Starting off, we're going and getting a new map, which is going to go and feature a bunch of mysterious things, such as this giant temple with all of these glowing sparkles, which is pretty fun. And obviously, there is a giant sphinx right at the top, which is going to be the main focus of the event. Now, there is a bunch of mysterious things that you need to go and do, which I'm going to go and explain. But first, let me go and confirm a few questions that you guys have. I spoke to Adopt Me and they confirmed that the Urban Egg is not actually leaving during the first part of this event. I'm pretty sure Adopt Me will go and confirm when the Urban Egg is leaving, but the main egg is not coming out tomorrow, which is actually really exciting. I kind of thought that the egg was going to drop tomorrow, but it seems that they're going to go and do this in a special type of event where they try and create excitement. So the desert egg isn't actually coming tomorrow, it's just an event in preparation for it. Let's actually go and read what the messages says in this video, because it's a video of Jesse going and speaking with some type of voice changer, so it's a little bit difficult to understand. So let's go and read through what it says. You'll meet me soon out here in the dust, the sand, and the sun. You and I will have lots of fun. My secrets you must attempt to uncover match the statue to the symbol. So this right here is a statue. It seems to be a statue of a lizard. This might be one of the new pets that we're going and getting out of the desert egg. Some type of gecko or some type of lizard. It looks like a lizard and it's got a little symbol on it. And we're meant to be going and uncovering the statue and matching it with a symbol. So it's probably gonna be related with a tiny little symbol that this little lizard is holding in its hand. It says to help one another a reward at the end. So we can see that there is a lot of these little bowls with different symbols on. In the background, we can see a bowl with a fish symbol. This one is um, a mysterious symbol, this one. Looks like a bit of honey, and I guess, yeah, there's at least four different symbols to go and get. There was a bonus one at the last second on the far right, which looks like a little beach ball. So we're going to say there is a minimum of four symbols, which means there is four sculptures that you have to go and uh, connect the two things together to uncover the secret reward at the end. It literally says get a reward at the end. And then it cuts to this. This right here is a desert egg. That's right, they actually are going and making a desert egg. This is it. There is a hologram of the egg. And then it looks like a trap door. This right here looks like a door will open once you uncover all of it. And maybe you get to go and preview some of the pets coming out of the desert egg. I don't know but this is the most excited I have been for an egg update inside of Adopt Me since the Fossil Isle event. The egg itself has a little snake, a cobra on its head, then it's got a little cactus, a cactus, and as predicted, it features a pharaoh's head little um, headpiece. And then it's just a regular egg for the rest of it. And I'm pretty sure that is the rest of the video. It just zooms in on this awesome looking egg, which isn't colored. And uh, then we can see that this is going to be an event. So if you're really sneaky and you have like really good eyesight, we can see right at the bottom that there is a message. All right, if we zoom in so much that you probably can't read what it says, don't worry. I know what this says. This right here is a sign. And it says, play for 30 minutes to reveal the statue up to two per day. So it seems we can't even go and do this all at once, which is interesting. You're not going to be able to go and complete the whole of this game at once, since there is a minimum of four sculptures or statues to reveal, um, and you can only do two per day. I'm not sure if they mean two per day in Adopt Me, which is 20 minutes, or two per real human days, like they did for an advent calendar. And then there seems to be a countdown as well, saying zero, three, zero, so maybe that's like three days three hours i'm not too sure maybe it's counting down until you can go and do it it says time until next statue that's what i can read um so 
It is very blurry, obviously, but that's kind of what it says. There's also a sign here, and obviously this is going to be the entrance to the tomb, which is very exciting. In case you're wondering where the location is, it's right next to the car dealership. So I guess there'll probably be a teleportation thing saying go here. Um, but if not, just teleport to the gift shop or teleport to the car shop and then just leave and you'll literally go straight to this location. And honestly, this is just so fun. But let's continue to read what it says. Help one of another to get the reward from Mystic Sands, a special egg will have in your house. My quest begins at the usual time tomorrow. Go to player.me slash countdown to go and find out when it releases. So that was very interesting, very cryptic of Adopt Me. They don't normally make videos like that, but I am all up for that 100%. And a lot of you guys have been confused saying, oh, it's not a desert egg. That is literal confirmation. They showed what the egg looks like. We're going and getting a Sphinx event. That is what the update is called, the Sphinx event update. And overall, I'm just so excited for this and I am ready for an event inside of Adopt Me. I think you guys are all going to love this. And the Urban Egg isn't leaving tomorrow. So I guess if I was you, still try and go and stock up on some Urban Eggs since they will definitely probably be leaving the game unless Adopt Me is somehow doing this as a special egg where it's not gonna replace an urban egg. I, I don't really know the full logistics of this, but I definitely predict that the Gumball egg is going to leave eventually. But I did speak to Jesse, the one who was voicing that um, a Play Adopt Me news video. Normally he's like the host of the Adopt Me channel and he confirmed to me that the Gumball egg is not actually getting an update tomorrow. So I'm not sure how that's gonna work. Is the desert egg gonna be replacing it in the Gumball machine? I do not know, but let's go and claim these and we got 50 bucks and we got 50 bucks. Let me know if you've ever received 10,000 bucks because uh, that's actually a possibility. You can actually win 10,000 bucks off of lore, but I always get 10 or 50 or 100 and yeah, I've never got 10,000. I've seen a few people with it, but let me know in the comments because I'm very much intrigued how many of you guys have ever got that. And in case you're wondering, the odds are the exact same of getting 10,000 bucks as you are of going and getting a blazing lion. So your odds are one in 10,000. So very slim amount of people have got 10,000 bucks from it, but I guess a significant amount of people probably have without noticing. If we read some of the comments, there are so many people who are literally so excited saying that it's giving them nostalgia of the fossil event and that they love it. People are excited. I don't think I have seen one negative message about this. This is like such the most positive uh, comment section I've ever seen on a Adopt Me post. There's no Robux pets. It's basically all free to our knowledge. I mean, they might go and make something Robux, but I very much doubt that they're gonna go and do that. Someone said, is it gonna be like the fossil egg or like frost claw? Now that's a good question. There are some people like going and thinking that the egg is only gonna hatch a Sphinx pet, which I mean, there is a chance that that egg might not be a whole new egg with like 12 new pets. It might just be an egg that gives us a pet sphinx. Like the same way that the Frost Claws Fury went and gave us the Christmas Future Egg, which turned into a Christmas Eggnog Dog Dog. Um, there is a chance that this desert egg might just be to go and hatch one pet. Now, I, I feel like it's probably gonna be the other thing where it's gonna go and replace the urban egg and there'll be like 12 pets. But there is always a chance that this egg might just include one pet and it's a pet sphinx. It's not been confirmed by Adopt Me how many pets are in it, but considering the fact that there's like different things, like a little lizard for example, I feel like it's gonna definitely be a bigger update with multiple pets, but we might be completely wrong on that. You need to watch this video next where I show every single Adopt Me pet box and what pets you can get out of it. Click here right now to watch the video. I dare you to click it right now to go and watch it.